Ông Quê Châu. President, please be seated. Le Président, veuillez vous asseoir. ผู้ที่ได้รับการยกเลิกโทษจากศาลอำนาจ Before the break, Avant la the pause, witness said to the counsel, the witness uh, responded to the, the question by the deputy international co prosecutor that uh, the civil party is not concerned about his security or safety. Il ne se sentait pas If it is so, why does uh, the court or the chamber grants uh, the protective measure for the civil party. I am of the opinion that uh, the protective measure should be lifted and we should not grant uh, protective measure for this civil party. This is my only observation, President. Is it an observation or is it a request? If it is a request, you should provide reasons for your request. Observation is different from a request. Counsel, uh, this is my observation and also my request. If uh, the civil party is not concerned of uh, the security or his safety, and then uh, we should not grant a protective measure. President, your request is uh, overruled. I object to uh, this because uh, you have not submitted any reasons uh, for your request. And uh, we receive a request for protective measure through lawyers and uh, I, the chamber discussed with the West Suits on the matter and uh, the chamber issued a decision already on the, the request. If you want to put a request before the chamber, you should have provided a clear reason. You are not allowed to raise this matter again. You may not perceive international deputy co-prosecutor. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. President. We were uh, at the break. We were discussing um, your father and his imprisonment at Office 204. My last question uh, on this subject, um, did you ever learn uh, subsequent uh, after your father was released uh, at any time uh, who the chief of Office 204 was. Answer. In the period, I did not know the leaders. I did not know who the leaders were, and I do not know the composition of uh, 2.04. I'm going to uh, turn now to the period uh, where you were uh, sent uh, to Damriel uh, uh, Mountain and then to work at Crang to Chen. Uh, in interview E319.1.23 at answer 56, you stated that you were part of a six-man military unit that also included Sim, Son, and a person named Surat 
Serrat. Who in answer 69, you then identified as um, small or little Ensuite, Deutsch. Vous dites dans la réponse 59 Two of these people, en fait de Son, du petit Van Son, Ces personnes, and Van Son Little Deutsch, et le petit Deutsch um, known as Srey Tan, have already testified in this trial, Tan, and they have both connu. confirmed that they were part uh, of that six-man unit with you. Van Son, uh, also on the 5th of March, this year, E1 272.1 at 10.44.44 to 10.45.32, uh, testified that you and he were cousins. Can you confirm whether you and Van Son were cousins? and also whether you were in the same military unit uh, as your cousin Son, Sim, and Little Deutsch, uh, both before you came to Krang Tachan and while you were working at the prison. is my relative. Fait partie de ma famille. Uh, one son mother and uh, my La mère father de is et mon père a sibling. Sont en effet Actually, we met each other at a Krang Tachan security office. Et nous nous office. sommes rencontrés au bureau de sécurité de Krang Tachan. Let me follow up to clarify. Um, with regard to either uh, Van Son, clair, Sim, or de uh, Little Deutsch, du petit uh, Deutsch, were you in the same Sim unit as any of those people before going to Krang Tachan? Answer. After we transfer into Krang Tachan, we were in different units. Nous avons, nous we were in different 50 member units, but we were in the same uh, division. Nous étions toutefois dans la même division, quoique nous n'étions pas dans la même unité de 50 membres. Let me follow up a little more. Uh, in your OCIJ statement E319.1.23, at answer number 19, uh, you described how prior to being sent to Krang Tachan, quote, I was assigned to prepare the arrest of Prum San, who had been accused of betraying the revolution on Panam Damri Romial Mountain, Tramcock District, end of quote. And today uh, you testified that your unit was stationed at Damri Romial uh, with the assignment to arrest Prumson in 1975. Um, in his trial testimony on the 3rd of March 2015, this is E1 slash 270.1 at 14.23.27 through 14.27.11. Your cousin, uh, Van Son, uh, also described how he was sent to Damri Romial to arrest Prum Son uh, before uh, his unit was assigned to Krang Tachan. My question for you, uh, does this refresh your recollection that you and your cousin Van Son uh, were both sent to Damri Romial to try to arrest Prim Son, and after that were sent to Krang Tachan. Answer, that is true.
your cousin uh, Van Son uh, also testified Question. to this court Votre cousin on that same Van day, Soane the 3rd of March 2015. Uh, this reference is E1 slash 270.1 at 14.33.36. That the two of you along with Sim and Little Deutsch, Sim uh, all Little were sent Duik, to Krang Tachan at the same time. Does that refresh your recollection uh, that you, Son, Sim, and Little Deutsch all started working at Krang Tachan at the same time? But Answer, yes, Réponse, that is true. C'est exact. Van Son uh, also testified Question. on that same day Van at 14, jour, 10, 14, 18, 10, 18 uh, that uh, he began to work at Krang Tachan in late 1975. 1975. The other members of the unit, uh, Sim, Les de uh, testified uh, in his OCIJ interview D40-20 in the very first question that he was sent to Krang Tachan during the rice harvest in 1976. Uh, and in his testimony in this trial on the 19th of February of this year, E1 266.1 at 11.02.54, Little Dutch admitted that he was transferred to Krang Tachan in late 1976. Does this refresh your recollection, um, Mr. Civil Party, that you, Son, Sim, and Little Deutsch all started working at Krang Tachan in either late 1975 or 1976? and not in 1977, as you testified earlier today. Answer. Réponse. I was transferred to the office in 1976. I uh, did not know whether it was in late 1976 or early 1976. Thank you for clarifying that. L'accusation. Je vous remercie de cette précision. I want to ask you about another um, statement you made in your interview E319.1.23 and this is at question and answer numbers 48 to 49. Uh, you testified uh, that uh, you had a god grandfather named Tachem, who was longtime friends with Krang Tachan, prison chief On, and that you saw Tachem come to visit Ta'an at the prison. And in answer 51, you gave the following testimony. Question. Was it because Question. of the good friendship between Ta'an and Ta'chem that you were appointed head of security guards at Krang Ta'chem? Answer. Yes, that was the reason I was appointed head of the prison guards. End of quote. First, I'd like you to tell me a little bit about your God grandfather Tachem. Uh, where was he from and what did he do? Answer. Réponse. In Lonol period, à de Lonol, my parents, uh, when they were evacuated from their area to live in Toteng Ngai. My parents lived with Tachem. Actually, Tachem uh, was not our 
relative. Ne faisait pas partie de notre famille. We were we were all evacuated from the west of National Road Number Three to live in the east of National Road Number Three. We were evacuated because there was a threat that danger would happen on us. Nous redoutions les dangers qui nous menaçaient. And what did Tachem do? Uh, did he, what was his occupation? Or if he was in the revolution, what was his position in the Khmer Rouge? Quelles étaient ses fonctions sous les Khmer Rouges? Answer. Réponse. Tachem had no position. He was an ordinary a citizen. He was the former teacher in Lunar period, and uh, he said that he was the friend of Ta'an. Uh, you indicated that um, uh, you and your family lived with Tachem after you were evacuated uh, from your village. Well, when was it that you were evacuated from your village and your family uh, lived with Tachem? À quel moment avez-vous été évacué de votre village et avez-vous vécu avec Tachem? C'était en 1971 ou en 1972 Répondez-moi. Merci. Merci. 67. Réponse 67. Uh, you gave the following testimony. And this is E again, E319.1.23. Question. Uh, did the guards Question. carry guns? Gardes Answer. Yes, they armes? did. Réponse. Oui. End of Bien quote. Uh, can you tell us uh, what type of gun did the guards at Krang Tachan carry? Answer. Réponse. As for the gun which I carried, it was M16 and CKC. Moi, je portais un M16 et un SKS. Now, I want to ask you a few questions. Uh, you testified uh, in response to uh, questions earlier uh, identifying uh, the leaders of Krang Tachan, including. In E319.1.23, at answer 53, you testified in response to the question who supervised the guards. Your answer was Ta'an himself. And in answers 104 to 106 of that same interview, uh, you described uh, self-criticism and life view meetings that were led by Ta'an, uh, at which he warned you about escaping and, quote, instructed us to be responsible for the prisoners and prevent their escape, end of quote. My first uh, question is, uh, can you tell us where these self-criticism or life view meetings were held? Answer. Live view meeting to re-educate uh, those who committed wrongs uh, were held in the dining hall. Pour corriger ceux qui avaient fauté se tenait dans le réfectoire. And who all participated in those meetings? Question et qui participait à ces réunions? Answer. In the dining hall, there were com com combatants, uh, Il y avait des uh, dans people le from the units. Des personnes, des unités. So these were meetings for the 
combatants or cadres who worked at Prang to Cham. Is that correct? Il s'agit donc de réunions pour les combattants ou les cadres qui travaillaient à Prang to Cham. C'est exact. Answer. The leaders of the security told us that the the soldiers would. Care of their duty and as for the cadres, they were told of their different duties. Les cadres de sécurité devaient s'occuper de leur travail et les cadres, quant à eux, how often did a prison chief on conduct meetings like this? Question. Et à quelle fréquence étaient organisées ces réunions? Answer. It was not. It was not too often. The meeting would held once a month, or sometimes there was no meeting at all in a month. And you've talked about the instructions you received at this meeting, and the commitment you had to make regarding prisoners not escaping. Can you remember and tell us a little bit about other subjects that were discussed at these meetings led by Ta'an? Answer. In the meeting or meetings, Combatants were instructed to be in charge of their duty. If the prisoner could be able to escape, their life would end. Arrivés à s'échapper, alors c'était bien la la fin de leur propre vie. I realize it was a long time ago. Do you do you remember anything else that? On talked about at these meetings. Other than that, I don't know. But do you remember if Ta'an has talked about other things during these meetings? Answer. Besides this subject, I. It it seems that there were no other subjects. Mis à part ce thème, il me semble qu'aucun autre thème n'était abordé. Actually, there was the discussion that the the combatants and the people there had to find and search for food to eat in the security office by themselves. Les gardes qui étaient là-bas devaient trouver de la nourriture. Earlier today, you. Testified that it was special units in the communes or district who went to arrest the prisoners and bring them to Prang to Chan. I want to ask you a few questions about what happened when these prisoners arrived at Prang to Chan. In your civil party application, and this is document D22-88 at Khmer 00-354-365, English 00-379-4-2-2, and French 0-1-0-5, Five eight two zero. You made the following a statement in that application. Quote: Once I rang the bell, calling those who were in the office to take prisoners back into the prison, and I also followed them. End of quote. And in document. A document that's been admitted in this case, E3 slash 2120 at English 00416390. This is a book only available. This excerpt is only available in English right now. This is a book that was written by a researcher named Meng Tri Yi, who states that he interviewed you 
Sotsang in October 2001, and he attributed the following statement to you and another guard. I quote, a former cadre's Chanta and Sang reported that its prisoner escorts rang a bell that hung from a mango tree just west of the center. Upon hearing the bell, the cadres came out to meet the prisoners and led them to cells inside." Uh, end of quote. My first question for you, uh, was there a bell outside the Krang Tachan compound uh, that was rung when prisoners were brought to the entrance of the compound? Il fallait faire sonner lorsque l'on faisait entrer ou lorsqu'il y avait des prisonniers à ramener à l'intérieur. Answer. The bell Réponse. was at the outside compound of the Krang Tachan security office. There were two levels of fence, and the bell was at the outside compound. La cloche était à la clôture extérieure. Just to clarify, um, do you mean that the bell was outside the outer fence as opposed to the inner fence? Answer, yes, it was uh, in the outer fence. Réponse, oui, c'était... The second excerpt I just read to you was a Question. statement uh, uh, attributed to you uh, by a researcher named Meng Tri Yi, e, who interviewed you in 2001. Do you remember being interviewed in 2001 uh, by a person who was uh, writing a book or doing research? Answer. I Réponse. did not remember the content of the interview. Je ne me con, je ne me pas du there were many de interviews. Il y a eu many bon researchers uh, went to interview me, and I did not uh, recall all those people. Et je ne me souviens pas de chacun d'entre eux. Let me ask you now, uh, turn to the subject of the types um, of prisoners um, at Krang uh, Can Kren you tell us uh, what types of prisoners uh, were sent uh, to the Krang Tachan Security Office? Quels étaient les types de prisonniers que l'on envoyait au bureau de sécurité de Krang Tachan? Answer. I did not know about the type of uh, prisoners. Je ne sais pas quel type de prisonniers étaient envoyés à Krang Tachan. The units in uh, villages, communes, districts, and uh, communes, uh, in the country, I uh, saw prisoners were brought from those areas to the security office. Était Let me refresh your recollection um, with Question. two. Uh, statements that you provided to the investigating judges. Uh, first, in interview E319.1.23, at answer 91, you stated, quote, there was a mixture of prisoners. They were arrested on accusations they had been against the revolution. End of quote. And in your interview D40-21 at Khmer 00165342, English 00223551, and French 00524330, you testified as follows. Question. 
Vous avez répondu what à la offenses had the prisoners held there committed? Answer. Some amenés. had connections Réponse. to officials Certains of previous times. Some had deserted the ranks. Some had been sexually immoral. My first question, what did you mean by prisoners who had connections to officials of previous times. During the uh, revolutionary period, Pendant la période révolutionnaire, they were against the previous regimes. It is my understanding that if you were accused of betraying si the revolution, then you will be sent for re-education, and it means that you will be smashed. And when you talk about Question. the previous regime, Lorsque are you referring to the law no regime? It included the uh, Lona regime. Oui, le régime and de up to the time that the uh, revolutionary uh, regime uh, took over. Tous les régimes qui ont précédé le régime révolutionnaire. Did the prisoners at Krang Tachan include uh, former Lan Nol soldiers or officials uh, or people who were relatives or otherwise connected to former Lan Nol people? De personnes qui appartenaient au régime de Lan Nol. Yes. Réponse oui. Now in the a book of Meng Tri E that I uh, read an excerpt to you earlier, uh, who interviewed you in October 2001. Um, this is E3 2120 at English 00416383. Uh, and just to advise the court, we've, we've requested a translation of um, uh, there is a chapter in this book that relates to district re-education offices and has substantial information regarding uh, Crank to Chan. So we've made a request uh, that that entire chapter, which is about 30 pages, be translated. Uh, uh, in any event, uh, the site, uh, current site, English 416383. Um, the following statement is attributed to you, uh, Mr. Civil Party. Sot Sang took custody of former Law Nol soldiers and policemen arrested by the Subdistrict Committee and sent to the Tramcock Re-Education Center. He explained that in mid-1975, a terrible number of prisoners were brought in day and night, night and day. There was no sleep, end of quote. And Mr. Civil Party, in this trial on the 4th of February, Sai Sen testified as follows. This is at E1 256.1 at 14.36.30 to 14.38.17. Quote, the number of prisoners cite, increased de after the country was liberated, la that is, after they liberated Phnom Penh. Those former Lan Nol soldiers were regarded as prison prisoners of war, de and Phnom Penh people were considered 17 April people, and they were taken there, end of quote. Um, my question to you, 
what can you tell the court suivante. about the arrests of former Law Nol soldiers and policemen in Tramcock District uh, in 1975? At that time, I was not aware of that as I was uh, with the Army. Did you subsequently become aware that large numbers of Law Nol soldiers had been arrested following liberation uh, following the 17th of April 1975? I did not know where Réponse. the former Lono soldiers who were arrested were sent to. Je ne sais pas où les anciens soldats it happened de before I went to work at the Krang Tachan. Cela a eu lieu avant que je n'aille à Krang Tachan. What did you Question. hear or observe uh, regarding entendu, the arrests of former Lono soldiers? Par rapport aux arrestations des anciens soldats de Lono. At that time, I uh, was a soldier in the army, so I did not know what's uh, going on at the rear. I understand that, that you cannot read, so I will not, uh, I have a document that I want to ask you about. Um, instead, Mr. President, I will um, simply read the references uh, for the witness. Um, this is document uh, E3 slash 41-64, and it is a Crank to Chan prisoner list entitled Brief Nous biographies of prisoners at Tramcock District Education Office. De and um, my first question to Tramcock. you, um, Mr. Civil Party, um, the, the second and third prisoners on this list question, are, were two civil. Uh, female medics. Nous voyons deux uh, femmes médecins. That had been sent to Krang to Chan, a, a woman named Han. Han. Her full name was Uch Han. Uch Han. Uh, and a woman named Vorn Sarun. Vorn Sarun. Do you remember two Sarun. female medic prisoners Vous at Krang to Chan named Han and Sarun? Uh, who may have also been referred to as Rune. Han et Sarun, qui pouvaient également être appelés Rune. As for uh, Réponse. Han and uh, Rune, I, I knew them. President interrupts. I think there is a, a technical issue. Problem technique, uh, apparemment. Court officer, please uh, check it. Civil si party responses. La partie uh, civile. Jant, uh, and, and Rune, uh, were there. Anne et Rune étaient bien à Krang Tachan. And do you remember how long uh, Han and Rune uh, were detained at Krang Tachan? Combien de temps Anne et Rune ont été détenus à Krang Tachan? I did not know the details Réponse, je ne because pas after les I returned to the army, I did not know whether she uh, returned to reunite with her family in Après the village. Après mon retour dans l'armée, je ne sais pas si elles sont reparties dans leur village pour y retrouver leur famille ou pas. This uh, prisoner list uh, includes Question. Dans cette liste uh, the de prisoners, former position or occupation. 
uh, and whether they were uh, 17 April people or base people. Uh, of the 29 prisoners on this list, uh, 21 are identified as 17 April people and 6 as base people. In addition, 11 of the prisoners are identified as former law no military and another as the son of a smashed law no captain. My question for you, uh, Mr. Civil Party, uh, based on your observations as a guard at Krang Tachan, were there more prisoners who were 17 April people or more who were base people? Preston, uh, witness, uh, please wait. And Councillor Copé, do you have the floor? Vous plaît, Copé, um, thank you, Mr. President. Copé. Um, Monsieur two objections is a leading question. Uh, but une objection, most car il questions are leading questions. Uh, question but more importantly, uh, this witness couldn't possibly say if somebody is a 7 able uh, person or not. Uh, it's not uh, tattooed on their forehead. Si, uh, um, so he cannot read. Uh, uh, the only way that you can actually determine if somebody is a 7 able people is probably by reading. But but certainly, uh, this, uh, this uh, witness is not able to determine uh, whether somebody is a seventh enabled person. Yes or not. And Mr. President, if I may respond, uh, the question wasn't leading. It asked him Monsieur for his observation. Si um, second, there are uh, other ways, of course, that a guard who worked at Crank to Chan. Uh, could have information on this uh, observations, having learned where people were, were from, where they came from, uh, or such matters. Um, so I think as a person who worked at Crank Tachan, uh, this is a uh, perfectly proper question for him to answer. Le président. The opposition raised by the defense counsel de is overruled, and the chamber needs to hear the response from the witness to the question put to him by the prosecution. And Mr. Civil Party, uh, please uh, respond to the last question put to you by the uh, prosecution. And as the civil party uh, worked there, then he, he might know uh, about what was uh, being put to him by the prosecution. And please uh, respond to the, to the question, if you can recall, Mr. Civil Party. Civil Party. Mr. Civil Party. Mr. Civil Party. Mr. Civil Party. Mr. Civil Party. I had no idea who were the former Lunal uh, soldiers or who were the best or 17 April people. Du peuple du 17 avril. Thank you, Mr. Civil Party. Merci, la Party Civil. Let me turn now um, to the question of the number of prisoners who were at Krang Tachan. Um, you provided some testimony uh, this morning about uh, arrival of prisoners and how many prisoners would arrive on given days. Um, also, in interview, your interview D40 slash 21 at Khmer 00165340, English 00223550, 
a French 00524328. You were asked how many prisoners were usually at Prangtachan, and your response was, quote, sometimes 20, sometimes 30, uh, end of quote. Now, I want to uh, read to you uh, some of the statements of your fellow uh, unit members who have uh, given evidence. Uh, your fellow guard, Sim, uh, testified as follows in D40-20, ERN reference Khmer 00165-333. English 00433572, French 00524321. Question. In general, how many prisoners were sent in at a time and how often? Answer. Sometimes 10, sometimes 5, sometimes 1, almost every single day. End of quote. Sim also testified Sim at the same ERN that there were three ERN, buildings for detention de and that each building had two rows with 20 people in each row. A little Dutch, Srey Tan, uh, has testified in this court on the 19th of February 2015, reference E1 266.1 at 11 12 48 to 11 16 49. He testified that the number of prisoners brought in to Krang Tachan varied from three or four up to 20 prisoners per day, that there were two detention buildings, and that each building could hold about 50 to 60 prisoners. And your cousin, uh, Van Son, uh, acknowledged in his testimony to this court on the 4th of March, 2015, reference E1 271.1 at 9.25.10 to 9.27.22, Son stated that, quote, prisoners were sent in almost on a daily basis, end of quote. Uh, and that each building could accommodate at least 50 prisoners. Now, um, Mr. Civil Party, um, you also Monsieur acknowledged in your OCIJ interview part, uh, that it was hard for you to estimate the number of prisoners because, and I quote, you never counted them. Que, vous cite, vous les Is it possible compté? that your estimate of the number of prisoners at Krang Tachan is low, and that the number of prisoners there was higher and more consistent with the evidence we heard from the other three guards. I uh, cannot say whether the uh, number was uh, less or more, as I did si not take count of all the uh, prisoners. I focus uh, on my assignments, that Je is to go and find food, faire, to go fishing at various cooperatives, and sometimes far from the center. Can you give us your uh, testimony on how many buildings there were where prisoners were detained and how many prisoners uh, each building could hold?
in the Grand Dachan Security Center, there indeed there were three buildings. Two were situated to the east, and one was to the west of the center. As for the uh, number of prisoners, Pour not all buildings were fully uh, loaded uh, with them. Les bâtiments n'étaient pas forcément au complet. When the buildings were fully occupied, how many people uh, could they hold? Combien de prisonniers ces bâtiments pouvaient-ils accueillir? I am not sure as the total number a building could accommodate. However, I can say that each building could accommodate the two rows of a prisoner and there was a footpath in between. I'm going to read to you uh, from another document uh, that's been admitted in this trial. Uh, it is document E3-2109. E3-2109. Uh, the ERN are Khmer 00068014. English 00276555. And French 00290272. Mr. Witt, Mr. Civil Party, this document is a, a report. Um, from Crank de Chan for the month Frank of November 1977. Um, Mr. President, with your leave, um, may I display this si on the screen? Monsieur le Président, j'aimerais que ce document soit affiché à l'écran. For what reason, Mr. President? He, ca he can't read. Maître Copé, pour quelle raison, Monsieur le Président, la partie civile ne peut pas this lire? This is a public proceeding. It's, it's for the benefit of uh, the bench and for the members of the public. Je fais afficher ce texte pour les juges et les membres du public. Uh, President, uh, there is no translation into uh, Khmer, court officer, could you check? Il n'y a pas eu de vers le Khmer. Huissier d'audience, pourriez-vous vérifier? Donc, ça brille rond, il y a un the deputy co-prosecutor, could you please uh, repeat your last question since there was no translation? Uh, uh, was there a translation of the ERN or do I need to repeat? Repeat the whole question? Do I repeat toute my question? I understand from my colleague, but what, what wasn't translated was my response to um, counsel, uh, Mr. Coppe. My response to him was that um, the, the displaying on the screen is not just for the benefit of the civil party uh, or witness, it's for the benefit of the court and the public. Uh, so that's the reason for the request to display the document on the screen. President, the chamber allows it. Allez-y. Uh, Mr. Civil Party, um, uh, this document um, reported that uh, during the month of November 1977, uh, 75 new prisoners had entered, 92 prisoners were purged, 6 died of illness, and one 
a lieutenant colonel had been removed to sector by Ankar, leaving a total of 85 prisoners as of the end of that month. This report tells us then that there were 109 prisoners at Krang Tachan at the start of November 1977. Uh, over the course of that month, 75 new prisoners arrived, 99 were purged, died, or transferred, uh, leaving a total of 85 at the end of the month. Uh, does that refresh your recollection that as of late 1977, there were typically around 100 prisoners at Krang Tachan at any given time. I cannot recall the number or the year as it has been far too long. It's more than 30 years now. This uh, report uh, also has a reference to a uh, lieutenant colonel uh, having been removed to sector by Ankar. Um, do you have any information? Uh, were you aware of prisoners at Krang Tachan ever being sent to the sector? De prisoners at Krang Tachan qui étaient envoyés par le secteur? No. I was not aware of that. I was not aware of anyone being sent to the sector level. Je n'ai jamais entendu parler de qui que ce soit envoyé par le secteur ou au secteur. You testified this morning that prisoners were not provided medicine and not allowed to clean themselves. I want to read to you uh, another a statement that was attributed to you uh, in the book uh, of Meng Tri E, E3 slash 2120 at English 00416390. And I quote, so, the document number again, E3 slash 2120, and available in English only, 416 President, uh, the deputy co-prosecutor, uh, please repeat the EN number again. Let me repeat the full uh, site. It's document E3 slash 2120 uh, at English ERN 00416390. And I quote, Sang, a Tramcock cadre, explained the causes of death of sick prisoners as Quote, most importantly, weakness from lack of food and medical attention. If a prisoner died during the night, the Khmer Rouge cadres did not take the body away immediately. They left the corpse until dawn or the next afternoon when the light offenders returned from work and could carry it away for burial. End of quote. Um, uh, Mr. Civil Party, can you tell us um, how often did prisoners get sick at Krang Tachan and was any medical treatment ever provided to them? Prisoners who were detained there, from what I could see, did not receive any medical treatment. Prisoners who were detained there, from what I could see, did not receive any medical treatment. 
the swamp. And do you have any? Did you have any observation as to how often prisoners died uh, from sickness at Krangtachan? I did not know about that. Uh, Mr. President, I'm about to change to a different uh, subject if this is a convenient time. Sur le point de passer à un autre sujet, peut-être est-ce le moment de la pause? Bah. President, uh, thank you, the Deputy Co-Prosecutor. It is time uh, convenient for a lunch break. We will take a break now and uh, resume at 1.30 this afternoon. And, court officer, please assist the, the civil party during this lunch break and invite him as well as Mr. Nyem Sumnayam, the uh, RISU staff, back to the courtroom at 1.30 this afternoon. And as uh, the chamber reminds uh, you before, please uh, draw the curtain during before uh, he leaves the courtroom and uh, when he returns to the uh, courtroom. This applies uh, today and also tomorrow during the civil party's testimony. And security personnel, you are excited to take you some porn back to the waiting room downstairs and have him return to the uh, courtroom this afternoon before 1.30. The court is now in recess.